But sir, according to market beat, based on 7 analyst AMC's rating, it's a sell rating. Yes, but at the same time, their price target is off a lot. Their price target is $5.58. The current uh, price of the stock is $41. AKA, they're trying to tell you that, you know, their price target is 86% in the downward direction. You know why it's funny? It's funny because current uh, stock price of AMC is 86% away from their price target. The question is how they actually came up with these numbers, with these predictions. Let's take a look the current one month ago, three months ago and one year ago price targets. What was the rating of MC and how right or wrong market beat were. So currently we're looking at one year ago. The rating for MC was hold and the price target in 2020 was $6.50. Looking at three months ago. The current rating remains to be hold, but the price target is two dollars less, it's four dollars and fifty-six cents. The question is what change? What change from one year till today for them to put the sell rating? Are we close to something big? Because the price target actually is higher than a month ago. A month ago the price target was five dollars twenty cents. Now the price target is higher at five dollars fifty-eight cents. But they tell you to sell the stock. Why? Why when you have a higher price target, they will ask you to sell the stock now? Complete nonsense. Here is why. Three months ago, when the stock was at $4.56 price target, this was the lowest price target from the whole year ago, right? For the whole year, this is the lowest price target. They're telling you hold. But now when we have a higher price target, which is $5.58, they're telling you to sell the stock. Let's go over the rating system. Let's see who gave you a sell rating, who gave an AMC sell rating, who gave a buy rating, who gave a neutral rating. Let's go over the details. So in this table, we're looking at the brokerage, analyst name, action, rating, price target, upside, downside on the report date. Starting with Citigroup, Citigroup's Rating, it's a sell rating. Wetbush. Wetbush, it's neutral to hold. B. Riley, we remember B. Riley, right? B. Riley, buy to neutral. Loop Capital has a sell rating. UBS Group has a sell rating. MKM Partners, downgrade, neutral to sell. And if we go over the price targets, the variation between $1 MKM partners, $1 price target, loophole, loophole, loop capital, uh, $1 price target. B. Riley has the highest price target of $16. Wetbush, $7.50. Now you, you understand what is the sentiment in all of these companies who are betting against AMC. This is why uh, I won't be surprised if I see more bearish articles about AMC in the coming week ahead. Especially now when the stock is it's finding its consolidation at the levels of 40s, which is very, very not suitable for the short sellers. On top of that, we have these new regulations and requirements from, for the short sellers, which definitely will make uh, a big difference for them in favor of AMC. I don't see why they stamp the sale rating on the stock. If I have to be honest with you, I, I never listened to any analyst uh, similar case with the people who are trying to predict the weather forecast. I never listened to those guys either because I just don't believe what they're saying. I believe that it's literally impossible for neither of these guys to be accurate more than like 10 or 15 percent of the times. Because I think that for those of the companies who don't have a short position against AMC, who just want to put data, who just work with data, uh, who judge the company by technicals and fundamentals, they put a $5.50 price target on average from all of the companies who are bearish on the stock. And I mean, this is not a change from week to week. AMC has been in the levels of 30s, 40s for uh, the last uh, three, four months already. I mean, they have to change and adapt their price targets uh, many times over. I don't know what they're waiting for, but uh, that's definitely a nonsense for me. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.